very <coughs> good morning to all of you. Those who are standing kindly bear with us, we will make arrangements for you to see. Don't worry. Okay, apologies. It's an overwhelming response uh, and we are happy that you have all responded to our invitation. Uh, <coughs> once again, a very good morning. I acknowledge the presence of uh, Professor Uma Maheshwar here, who is one of our coordinators. I saw Professor Patrick, okay, who has uh, just taken over yesterday as uh, VR1 and the sir has taken over as uh, Director of RDCC, right? Okay. Well, I'm not uh, going to web of science and all, but uh, well, I have to talk about SCDC, so I'll just very briefly mention what we have been doing for the past uh, few months. We, uh, the, <coughs> the center was launched in uh, February. <coughs> And I think we have been fairly successful in uh, getting over 50 to 60 companies <coughs> onto campus for their recruitment drive. Okay? And we were successful in placing quite a number of students. And then just recently we <coughs> had a mega fair in uh, collaboration with Bithuna, where I think uh, thousands of uh, candidates have taken part and uh, near about 50,000 uh, people have been placed successfully. Okay? We are yet to get uh, data from uh, the HR personnel, so we are waiting for that kind of data. We are also into training, as I said, uh, we do undertake uh, training programs uh, in the larger interest of uh, the student community. Uh, one essential wing of this centre, right, I am sure you must have noted, that uh, we have this overseas uh, education cell, uh, which uh, imparts training for TOEFL, GRE, GMAT, etc. Uh, if things go well, uh, we will be starting a global cell in the engineering college where we will have people who will be counselling students to go overseas. Okay, this is a very brief of what we have been doing. Uh, well, <coughs> coming to this uh, workshop or seminar, whatever, uh, I thank uh, Dr. Chakravarti for having teamed up with HDC so that we reach out to all faculty members, research scholars and students Okay, to create awareness about this web of science. Okay. <coughs> well, uh, uh, we have senior faculty here, we have uh, researchers here, we have students here, but I don't have to uh, talk much about research, but I think uh, in our endeavor to uh, gain or uh, generate knowledge through our research, I think one of the most crucial steps is accessing it. I recall my own days when I did my PhD. I used to go from Osmania University Library to ASRC Library to British Council Library, okay, trying to look at those catalogs, okay, in those iron racks, see what books are available. I mean, I'm sure people of my age would have done the same thing, okay, in yesterday years. But I think there is this dramatic shift today. Okay. Uh, quite, quite often I raise this question in the classroom: Where does research begin? I don't know. Can I have an answer, please? <laughs> yeah? Can I can I get a response? You said Google. Okay, Google. Right. I mean, the thing is, yeah, there are some response on this side. Yeah, I think research begins in the library. Okay, now probably it has shifted. Okay, into the virtual space, but I think your quest for information, your search for all kinds of information, right? Okay, relevant to your particular discipline starts there. Okay, uh, I don't know, but I see that there is a drop in the number of people who go to libraries these days because most of them are on their phones, smartphones, accessing information. Well, it's a good development, but I think this is a wonderful time for all of you to be here. Why I am saying this is, you know, in communication, in journalism, we talk about two different kinds of people. One is Digital natives and digital migrants. Digital natives and digital migrants. People like us, okay? We are all digital migrants. Old people trying to learn the techniques or use of computers, all these softwares, etc., etc. Digital migrants. You people are all born into this age. That's why we are calling you as digital natives. Digital natives. Today, when you look at our own youngsters, I think they are far more faster in accessing information. So, uh, I think you have a wonderful opportunity here to access this software and I congratulate the Osmania University for having purchased this software so that our researchers can access 
all this information, okay, at uh, their own convenience. Okay, with these few words, I will stop here. Thank you very much for coming. Okay, uh, very shortly we'll be breaking for uh, tea. Please have tea. Come back here. I hope all of you will enjoy this session. Thank you very much. It was nice to listen uh, from Professor Stevenson about the digital natives and migrants. Uh, thank you, sir. Now I request uh, Dr. Siyadakiri, sir, Assistant Professor University Library, to present the vote of thanks for the session.